Welcome to your next video in Gantech App Design. You can see today we're actually going to build a Google search app um, using the web viewer. Um, this is part one or day one of the two part video. So in this video what we're going to do is design the app. The app will look like this. It's going to have the Google icon, the search box, the speech recognizer, the button, the web viewer, the Gantech, and the Ronald Reagan Doral. So we're going to design part of this. We're also going to code a couple blocks inside of here. So this looks like this because if you go to google.com and you do a search, you can see up here it has the Google icon, it has the search box, it has the search by voice, and then it also has the search button. Down here is your results. The results is simply a web viewer. So to start, let's go ahead and open up MIT App Inventor. And go ahead and log in. And while that's loading, make sure you follow the class page. Go ahead and click OK. So this is the finished app, what it looks like, but we're going to come and create a new project. So if I follow the class page, everything's always on the class page. You can see it says, create a new project, call it My Google Search. So I'm going to come here, copy that. I'm going to come, start a new project, call it My Google Search. Click OK. So the project loads. Remember the first thing you always want to do is update the app properties. So that's by clicking on screen. You can see on the side. It says my Google search. I'm going to put spaces in here. But I'm also going to change this to say Jamie's search. For the opening and closing screen animations, I'm going to do fades and zooms. For the screen orientation, I'm going to keep it portrait. I want it to be a long screen like that. For the title, here, I'm, you see it says screen one there. I want to change that. I'll say Jamie Gantz. Enhanced search. And then the other things we have to do is the icon. Remember the icon, you want to be a picture of yourself. So I'm going to upload that. Come to my pictures. And somewhere in here should be Jamie. There we go. So always make your icon a picture view unless the instructions on the class page tell you different. When you're making your creativity projects, it will be different. So first thing we did is updated our page. We updated our app name. We updated our opening and closing screen animations. We also updated our icon and the screen orientation. And lastly, the title. Now we're trying to build this out. So we need this image, we need a text box, we need this image and this image. I give you everything on the class page. You can see we created it. You can see right here I actually give you the old images. So I'm going to save these. And I actually already have them, so I'm going to resave them. You can see, oh, I don't have them. So, Google app. And I'm going to save this icon Google. Save this image here. I'm going to save this image as well. Save that. And save that. So I'm going to need those images. You can see this is what we're going for. 
have a button here, a text box, a button, a button. So let's do that first part. And actually always use this as a reference. If I click on it, it shows you exactly what I have and also what I've renamed it. So I have a button called BTN Google. I have a text box called TXB Search. I have a button called Speech Recognizer, a button called Search, and a horizontal arrangement. So inside of here, I'm going to go to Layout, pull in our horizontal arrangement. The width of this is fill parent because we want it to go all the way across the screen, no matter what size our phone, our tablet, our device. The height for this is going to be 35 pixels. Then we're going to place our buttons inside of here. So my first button, I'm going to use your interface, pull my button inside of there. I'm going to rename it BTN Google. The width is going to be 75 pixels. The height is going to be fill parent. That way it fills the height of our horizontal arrangement. The image is going to be the image I just saved that I gave you. That was in drives. We have GSF1, Google app. That is this icon. then you can see I can get rid of the text. So you can see I have my button there that matches what goes here. Then I need a text box, another button, and another button. A text box is right here. I drag that in. I'm going to rename it. Remember you need to rename it by following this. I have TXB search. So TXB search. And I can change the hint box. I'm going to change this to type search for. That's going to show up in a gray area to the user. You'll see it actually when you test your app. Then I'm going to add my other button in. This is BTN search by voice. The height and the width for this is 35 pixels. The image for this is this image. I'm just going to upload that. And I can get rid of my text. Then I need one other button. This is BTN search. The height and the width is 35, and that is that icon there. And you can see it's kind of overlapped. That's because this is taking up a lot of space. We want to make this fill parent, which means only take up the remaining amount of space. Don't push stuff off to the edge. So if I change this to fill parent, then we have what we're looking for. This matches exactly this. So the, the rest part that we need to do, we can kind of cheat. If we looked here, you can see we have that. We have everything renamed. We need a web viewer. We need another horizontal arrangement with two buttons, text-to-speech, and speech recognizer. So let's go ahead and do that. Web viewer is right here. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in. The height and the width fills up the rest of the screen, but we want to put our Gantech and our Reagan logo at the bottom, so we're going to go to Layout. We're going to drag this in. We're going to do Fill Parent. I'm going to make this 35 pixels. Then we're going to put our two buttons in there. One, two. I'm going to rename this one BTN Gantech. I'm going to rename this one BTN Reagan Doral. And this one is going to be my Gantech logo. So I'm going to upload that. You can see it right there. And I'm going to make the height and the width fill parent. I can get rid of the text as well. 
you can see it's taking up as much space as possible other than this. So for my Reagan, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to make the height fill parent. It takes up all of the parent, which is the horizontal arrangement. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my width. When I do that, if both of these are fill parent, it's going to split the space equally. And so you can see they're both two equal boxes. I'll get rid of my text. And then I will upload my Reagan image that we saved from the page. Very simple. You can see that there. So now we have the main parts of our page under design of our app that matches very similar to this. We have this area, this is kind of our web viewer area, and at the bottom we have our little footer. In order to program this, we need a component inside of our app. So we're going to make our app enhance search because it's going to talk to you and it's also going to listen to you. So we need to come to media and we need to add two components here. To make our app talk, we're going to add text-to-speech, so I'm going to drag that in there. And to program search by voice, we're going to need a speech recognizer. What speech recognizer does is when you say something, it understands it, and then you're able to code with whatever you said. So I'm going to drag that in. And with that, we have our design complete. It also matches along here. Very, very simple. So there's two part video to this. The second part is going to deal exclusively with coding the browser with the text box and speech recognizer in this. But we can do three quick code blocks right now. This button, when someone touches Google, we want to update this web viewer to google.com. We also want to say google.com website. When someone touches Gantt Tech, we want to update this web viewer to Gantech.com, we also want to say Gantech.com website. When someone touches this button, we want to update this web viewer to the Ronald Reagan Doral website and also um, say Ronald Reagan Doral. So let's code that. First thing is when they touch this button. So let's do Google. BTN click. Remember the brown box are your events. That means you can program. Those are events that happen inside of your app. So I want click when someone touches it. I want to talk first, so I'm going to come to text-to-speech, click on that, I'll drag this in, my text-to-speech box. It says text-to-speech, so I know I need to use text in order to type in the message. So I'll go to text, I'll bring in the empty text box, put that inside of there, and it first should say google.com website. So when someone touches the Google icon, it's going to say google.com website. Our app is going to talk to the person. The next thing we wanted to do is actually update this web viewer. So we're going to go to a web page. I'm going to click on the web viewer and you can see it has a bunch of blocks. I want this specific block here. Go to URL. I'll put that inside of there. Because this is the second time you've used a web viewer, you should know how to fix this. I'm going to leave this blank for you to figure out on your own. Let's do the other two blocks. Again, you have to complete this and you can test it to make sure that it's working. Last part of this video, I want to do these two blocks here. BT and Gantech, I'm going to pull up when someone touches the Gantech image. I want to speak first. So I'm going to go to text to speech. I'm going to go speak. I'm going to put my text box back in there. And this is going to say Gantech.com website. And then again, I'm going to leave this part different. I need to update the web viewer. So I'm going to go to this URL, and you should know how to fix that part of it as well. The last block we're going to do in this video is our BTN Ronald Reagan Doral. When someone touches it, which is click, I want to speak first. So I'm going to do text to speech. I'm going to put that inside of there. I want to put my text inside of there. I'm going to say Ronald. Reagan Doral Senior High website. And the last part, which you have to figure out, I'm going to update this web viewer to go to the URL, and you should know how to do that part of it as well. So I've given you these text box, I mean these codes to complete. Um, you can also see on the class page, I gave you the design, we designed it in this video. I've given you the images, I give you the example, there's a tutorial video. 
I also give you the code blocks. You can see it says figure out the missing code blocks here. You have to figure this out and then test it. In order to test it again, you're going to use the AI companion if you have an Android device or you can do build save APK to my computer and install it on your computer using Bluestacks or use this one to generate a QR code. So the rest of the time make sure you update this and test your app that it works. When you install it on your phone or on your computer using Bluestacks, when you touch this button it should say google.com and this should be updated. When you touch this it should update. When you touch this it should update. So make sure you finish your app and then watch part two video to complete the app where we'll program the search box